Survivor Series War Games has just concluded. And Hot Dog, what a show. We had the most noteworthy thing coming from the show. Sami Zayn has reinforced his allegiance to the bloodline in a shocking betrayal of Kevin Owens, some may say. Uh, Sami Zayn was the reason why the Bloodline won their men's War Games match. And it's awesome. Hello, I'm Chopper P. Quinnell. Welcome to WrestleTalk. If it's your first time to this channel here, please do hit the subscribe button and the like button. We have daily wrestling news videos and pay-per-view reviews and Raw and Smackdown and Dynamite reviews and all that stuff. So please do subscribe because we have loads of content. Um, Survivor Series War Games has just concluded. Men's War Games match was the main event. And the big question going in was what was going to happen with Sami Zayn. So much speculation leading up to it. Uh, on SmackDown, you had the conversation between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens as to what side he was going to take. And Kevin Owens suggesting that Sami Zayn should turn on the bloodline before the bloodline turned on him. Jey Uso listened to that conversation, was speaking to Roman Reigns throughout the Survivor Series, throughout the show. There were loads of backstage segments. Well, I say loads. There were like two and a half of Roman Reigns speaking to Jey Uso. Jey Uso informing Roman of what he heard on SmackDown. Roman Reigns speaking to Sami Zayn, saying, why did you lie to Jey Uso? What's going to happen in the War Games match kind of thing? Even little bits throughout the match. For example, when uh, Jimmy Uso tried to enter the match, because Jey Uso entered the match first, was beaten down quite a lot by Butch and eventually Rich Holland when he entered. Jimmy Uso tried to enter second in the match, but Roman Reigns pulled it back and ordered Sami Zayn to enter second in order to save Jey Uso. And he did so successfully as part of like a, a, a test from Roman. And then it led to later on in the match after everyone had entered. It then got to a point where it was uh, Kevin Owens hit a stunner on Roman Reigns and was going to get the pin. But Sami Zayn stopped the referee's count. Literally held the referee's arm up so he couldn't count the three. A lovely touch, I'd say. But then on top of that, they have the stare down. Sami Zayn chats to Kevin Owens. And when Jimmy Uso tries to hit a super kick, Kevin Owens catches his foot. And Sami Zayn low blows Kevin Owens. Kneels down to Roman Reigns. Roman looks at KO looks back at Sammy, nods, and Sami Zayn runs in, hits a halluva kick onto Kevin Owens, and lays him down for Jey Uso to hit a splash onto him for Sami Zayn, well, for Jey Uso, to get the win for the bloodline in this match. But Sami Zayn being the cause of the victory for the bloodline in this match. The post-match, realistically, is what the, the highest talking point coming out of the show really is. Because not only does Roman Reigns give Sami Zayn a hug, but Jey Uso gives Sami Zayn a hug. Officially, like, endorsing him into the bloodline. Sami has finally proven his worth in the bloodline. And he's finally been accepted by all comers. Not just Roman, not just Jimmy, not just Solo, but Jey Uso as well. Everybody has accepted Sami into the fold now. And I'm really curious to see how this is going to play out. Because it could be a matter of... The bloodline is now a solid faction, no cracks in it, no dissension, just one solid unit, and Sami Zayn has been integrated successfully into the faction. It could also be a subversion. It could be like the Shield, where you thought the Shield were all fine, all their differences have been sorted out, they just got a 3-0 sweep against Evolution, and then on Raw, the split happens. I'm curious to see when we come to SmackDown next week, how this plays out and whether this is Sami Zayn is now Sami Uso and fully integrated into the bloodline or whether this is all set up to make the heartbreak of them turning on Sami Zayn even stronger. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where they go from here, but I'm really excited to find out. I can't wait to see where they go next. Elsewhere on the show, we had another couple of noteworthy things. Austin Theory managed to recapture the United States title in the triple threat against Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley. Uh, this, I, I assume, is part of the 
rehabilitation of Austin Theory. That being obviously he failed his money in the bank cash in, seems to be a way to just kind of get the money in the bank off him. And uh, they kind of beat him down, threw that money in the bank, failed cash in. But then they built him right back up. The week after kind of rehabilitated him into this new character. And this seems to be a continuation of that character in reclaiming the United States title. Seems to be like his new arc of his character in that now he's got the title belt back. Part of the uh, reincarnation of Austin Theory back to what he once was. Where they go from here with Austin Theory, I'm not 100% sure, but it was a very, very good match. That triple threat really, really picked up towards the end. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, honestly, there wasn't... Uh, the, the four out of five matches on this show were really good. The Women's War Games match, Finn Balor versus AJ Styles, the United States triple threat, and the uh, Men's War Games match main event were all fantastic. Uh, the Ronda Rousey versus Shotzi uh, SmackDown Women's Championship match was... Not as good. Um, it was okay. There was... It wasn't quite as good as everything else. Um, but Austin Theory, new US champion. And Becky Lynch returning uh, for the War Games match. Obviously, she came back on SmackDown. Uh, but she managed to get into the uh, War Games match last. Was the deciding factor for the Babyface team. And she led the Babyface team to victory in War Games. Hitting a huge leg drop off the top of the cage. I say leg drop... She kind of just sat on them, uh, both Io Sky and Dakota Kai, threw a table uh, off the top of the cage. Looked like a rough old landing for Dakota Kai and Io Sky. But Io, uh, uh, Io for, but uh, Becky leading her team to victory, uh, potentially setting up uh, some, some future plans for Becky. There was a bit of a stare down with Becky and Rhea Ripley again. Would not be opposed to seeing those two maybe having a stare down in the Rumble, then maybe having a Becky versus Rhea singles match at WrestleMania. Sounds like a fun time to me at the very least. Um, and of course we had Finn Balor versus AJ Styles on this show as well. Uh, really enjoyed this match too. AJ Styles getting a much needed win. Uh, we found out in our live chat when we were doing our live reactions to this show that AJ Styles uh, apparently hasn't won on a premium live event slash pay-per-view since Crown Jewel 2019, which is over three years. Uh, but he got one here over Finn Balor. Very fun match. And there was a lot of shenanigans early on in the match with Judgment Day and Gallows and Anderson and stuff like that. But they all brawled out away from the ring and into the crowd and let Finn Balor and AJ Styles just have a wrestling match. And wouldn't you know it, these two very good wrestlers put on a very good wrestling match. And AJ Styles picking up a much needed victory. It was a very good time. Uh, but I think the, the thing that will steal the show going forward is that Men's War Games match. Uh, the match itself was pretty fun, like the action in it was very fun. But I think the decision making from Sami Zayn and the consequences afterwards of him being embraced by Roman and Jay is going to be the thing that people talk about um, from this show going forward. Uh, and I'm really curious to see where they go from here with Sami Uso and where or how it plays out on SmackDown. Cannot wait. Very excited. A very good show. Four out of five matches being awesome. Can't say too much more than that. What a great show. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel and enable notifications and like the video as well. We do daily wrestling news videos, pay-per-view reviews, reviews of the weekly TV shows as well. So please do subscribe, like the video, etc. I've been Chubba P. Quinnell. Thank you for watching and jam that jam.